For stroke interpolate, let's start simple. I'm gonna go into my tool palette. We're gonna grab a plain 3D, drag it on my canvas, go in edit, uh, edit, go in here to make poly mesh 3D, and then we're just gonna subdivide this up until we're, you know, I don't know, a million polygons. So uh, I guess we'll stick with our standard brush for now. And if I go up here to make my draw size big or just tap S on my keyboard and uh, dial that in, I can go through here and I can make a really big stroke and I can go over here and make a really small stroke. And again, it can be, you know, this can be a straighter one and this can be a really wavy one. And then we can go in here to stroke. And I'm just gonna dock this over here on the left. Uh, interpolate, the strokes count's gonna be 10. So when I hit interpolate, it's gonna go from large brush size down to small. You can also do this with Z intensity. So if I go through here and I crank the Z intensity up on this one, and again, we'll do, maybe this side will be the squiggly line and then we'll go down to Z intensity lower, brush size lower. Maybe this one will be a straighter line. And then we can again, interpolate. And we go to the side here, you're gonna see it's gonna go not only brush size bigger, but also Z intensity bigger to smaller. Of course, we undo that. You can dial in the strokes counts. If you wanna drop that down to eight, you can. You can say interpolate. And if we just undo all the way back, and let's go ahead, you know, we've dropped that strokes count down. Let's go over here to uh, turn on RGB and let's go from our this material over to Skin Shader for us. So we can see a little bit better. Uh, so if we grab like a purple color, let's go into Subtool and we'll turn on Colorize here. So white verts, we're gonna paint on. We've chosen standard brush with a purple color with Z add and RGB turned on. So again, big brush size, high Z intensity, squiggly line. There we go. And then uh, we'll maybe choose a red. Smaller brush size, lower Z intensity, straighter line, stroke count set at eight, interpolate. It'll go from that purple all the way over to the red. And again, it's gonna dial in that nice stepping down from the Z intensity, the brush size, and the RGB color. Now we have the comma key on our keyboard and we go uh, you know, to the demo anime head. We go in here to BS, scribe chisel. And we go in here and we'll turn on RGB for this. And again, we'll choose a purple stroke. We'll go ahead and turn on the paintbrush for colorize. And we'll go through here and we'll use this to cut in. And you know what? Let's go into our geometry dynamesh. I'm gonna crank that resolution up to maybe 544 and then redynamesh. And then we're going here to stroke, curve, sub steps. And we'll crank this up to 25 so we'll get a smoother stroke when it cuts in. And we could even interpolate between these. So again, so we'll choose a uh, purple color for this one here and we'll just drag this one out and then we'll choose a red color make our brush size a little bit smaller and do a different stroke here we'll go up here to interpolate and again it's going to interpolate between the strokes so a little bendier here wavier here purple to red so a lot of flexibility uh, with this uh, interpolate and I probably should mention also when we do our purple stroke you know Z-add uh, is at an intensity of uh, 100 so we'll go through here and we'll do 100 Z intensity purple stroke. And then again, brush size smaller, Z intensity lower, color red, wave your line, interpolate. And again, if you go to the side, you're gonna see that Z intensity is gonna get less and less and less, and it's gonna go from purple to red. So again, a lot of flexibility there. Another thing we can do is uh, let's go back to a plane 3D. We'll turn off our floor, turn off our perspective, turn on colorize here. If we go back to our standard brush, so B, S, U, we can go ahead and uh, Z add and RGB is turned on. Let's change our background color to red and our foreground color to yellow. We can go up here to preferences, go down here to tablet, change color gradient up to one. So now when I do, oops, let's make poly mesh 3D so we can sculpt on this. So now I can go from, and we'll, Subdivide this up and underneath brush, tablet pressure, RGB, we'll take that focal shift to negative 100. So now I can go from red to orange. And then I can go back in here and say, you know what, let's go blue to light blue. And then again, stroke, interpolate, and it'll interpolate over.